So as we can see, massive upside came in the markets. Everybody became very, very bullish right now. It's good to see that we have broken into our danger zone. And now we're just below the resistance line, which is going to be somewhere around $45,000 to $47,000. And market looks to have a very, very good upside. Ideally, we would have to come back to certain zones here, build support, and then probably look for a further upside because we have seen previously that we did grow up very, very quickly in bullish engulfing candles fail to build support at the danger zone turning into support so ideally we want to have something like this build support here be a bit sideways and then have a very nice upside to be coming back with the volume because we really really need to have a volume to break through this so now let's get into our bubbles if you look at the bubbles everything looks beautiful in the bubbles today market has had a beautiful upside we can clearly see that upside in the results of our bubbles as well overall we can expect to see market may sideways movement for us up and down volatility because we do know fed discussed some things to public yesterday and this week they have several meetings going on as well but the biggest winner for today has to be metaware metaware is nearly up two thousand percent right now as we are recording this video so we did tell you guys to get into a startup if you couldn't a few hours ago about only two hours ago we have entered into the trading here as well a lot of order books are filled right now looking very very beautiful overall the market structure for it looks very good as well so if you want to get into this, you can always get into startups or new listed coins. Just click in the link given below in the description and join gate.io or use my referral code that will give you airdrops and free rewards as well. If we get into our fear and greed index, we can see today we are back at 26 levels despite the fact that the market had pumped, which is a very good sign for us because we need to build a bottom somewhere here with low fear levels. Then only we can get into the levels of extreme greed or greed where we will be in 70, 80 base points. That would be a very very significant spot for us and maybe that would be some massive upsides as well in the market if we look at long and short ratio in global data we can clearly see it's about 50 percent 49 50 51 we're even steven there and even if we look at into block trades we can clearly see even that looks pretty even stevens right now so overall market is quite balanced we can have some kind of pullback or we can also have a big upside coming but ideally we would want to have a very very good momentum first before anything else now we look into startup the next one we have to get into because it's a very popular game one has to be geno keshi metaversi and the other one has to be galaxy blitz uh, both of them are very very popular the team is very very good so if you do want to get into them you can obviously ape into them and they are already going to be starting in 12 hours 19 hours so the time period is very very short if you feel like you can have some good upside here like we can see in metaware as well and like I always like to say that this is the best moment and best places to make big amount of money and you can get them here so in case you don't have them and you are still worried you can always wait for the newly listed to start once the newly listed start like here we can see for galaxy blitz it's about 14 hours ago and also for jeno kashi matter was about 22 hours ago you can always get into them by newly listed coins and you don't have to wait to get your vip status up in any scenario like that so you can just aim into them as early as possible from newly listed or if you're a vip member by startups so now we can get into the news that the part we have right now in the markets FUD came last night when we had a meeting from the Fed discussing what they're going to be doing and what are the, their plans going to be in the very short or long term. So we can clearly see here that Powell said if Fed needs to tighten above neutral rates, we'll do so. Powell says labor market very strong, inflation much do high by more than 25 BPS each time if needed. It can even go up to 50 base points like we can see here. This is a very, very good summary here for us to look into we can see there's about six weeks two days to go three hours so that's also one reason we're having volatility the is going to be going to poland on 25th march so this week is going to be very very crucial in terms of that there's a lot of other news also there's about 2000 cases every day coming right now in shanghai and shenzhen province so even covid part is there but obviously china has kept the news down so it's very hard to get official news from there until or unless we find it somewhere else we will definitely share it with you guys but for now, this is the most important news we have right now in the markets. And we've also seen some pullbacks in stock markets and commodities as well because of this war part remains in the market for now. So even if we get into our charts now and look at the charts, there's so much action happening for the last 24 hours, which is a very, very good sign. That's what we really wanted to happen in the market. And now we can clearly see that happening. So now if we look at BTC, we can clearly expect a movement coming somewhere in these zones where ideally I would want the market to have some kind of sideways movement and then pump. And obviously the best kind of pump in a situation like this would be to slowly, slowly go up. We don't want to have any big bullish engulfing candles. We've learned a very tough lesson here and here as well that we always get rejected with that because too much volume comes in one or two candles. And then after that, people want to take profits very, very quickly. And we've also had a pattern where United States 
usually does pumping but now we are seeing that asia is pumping the markets while united states investors are mainly taking profits that is also the reason there's a lot of part and confusion right now in the market there are two different sentiments going on in the markets so ideally we want to turn this danger zone into support or if we fail to do so then obviously likeliness brings us back to 39,000. there's also sentiments in the market right now telling us that there's chance of big rejection coming in the market and probably bringing us back into 34 or 30,000 levels. Some people are even saying 20,000, but like I always say, we like to discuss level to level markets. That is too early to call right now. We're in this zone. So we just kind of discuss this zone. If we fail to maintain this zone, then we can probably discuss that we are coming back into 39,000. For now, we just have to keep ourselves in this zone. That's about it. Once we do ship zones, then we can have some kind of a movement and discuss that further as things develop in front of our eyes. As we see ETH, ETH had a very good upside. Even now, if we look into it, ETH is dominating with its dominance. Beautiful upside. We do have this cup and handle. We're failing to break above that. Ideally, we want to break above this. So we have more confidence in our markets and even overall situation that is going about. Even if you look at BTC's dominance in four hours, we can clearly see had a good upside some people are saying that all coin season is going to be starting with this but i am not really sure about it yet because if you look at other dominance it's been pretty sideways it's been in the regions where it has been for several days we do have a big upside of somewhere around 16 percent to 16.58 percent then we can consider yes there's a big upside coming and that that could turn things very very bullish for all coins but for now we don't see anything like that we just seeing everything is consolidating pretty sideways even in dominance for the bull run to really really begin and have a massive upside coming in these coins and everything including our nfts metaverse we need dxy to come down dxy as well has been pretty sideways did make a double bottom but has been pretty sideways as well right now so idd i want this to come down massively that would only be a very bullish sign for us right on the markets overall we don't want it to go back to 103 levels which we have seen that when it does do that markets will suffer pretty hard and with tax hikes coming regularly without any intervals about in every 45 days we can have some kind of volatility in the markets but do have the sentiments too that we expect btc to act as a deflationary tool and probably kind of bring an upside including ETH because ETH 2.0 is very very close so if we jump in now into the ETH chart we have clearly zone, drawn the zones for us to enter 3211 range we are already trying to build support like we have seen in btc as well on this resistance now ideally when we successfully have one to two retests then we can say we are building support right now we're just consolidating being pretty sideways so we can expect similar movement here as well that we are expecting in btc to be sideways here and then have this upside that we have pointed out earlier as well or if we do fail to get rejected then we are definitely going to be coming to our support level which is at 2632 for now when if you want to consider getting into trades it's very very difficult right now because most of the MACDs haven't converged in all the coins yet. If it just had been in BTC, and especially on the coins that we were targeting this week, we are slowly getting there on the convergence. So a lot of things matter as well. Like we can see right now, AR is pretty sideways here. So we want this MACD to converge as fast as possible for us to be taking some big entries. For now, we just have to be patient in the market. Like I always say, patience is going to bring you big rewards. Just aiming into a coin for quick money is not going to be beneficial because technology is more important than any other coin right now in the market. So we're going to aim into coins that are technologically very, very solid layer ones, utility tokens. That will be the ideal scenario for us that we prefer right now. So we even can see here that we haven't had MACD convergence into bullish momentum yet. So we just have to be very, very careful overall. The lines are already drawn in the chart. So we have to break 92.50 for in order to expect something big to be coming in AVAX. For now, that's the reason AVAX has been pretty sideways as well. We had made a double top, but we haven't broken down yet. To complete the double top, we at least have to come to $84. That will be an ideal place for the double top to complete. And if this double top is complete, then we are definitely going to be coming to our resistance that we can turn into support because similarly, we pumped very hard here and we didn't come back and consolidate much here to expect to be building this into a support. We would want to build that as support before having any good upside further coming into the markets. Now we get into Luna, we can clearly see Luna is being pretty sideways. Our zones are already drawn. So we can expect the market to be in this kind of case for now. We did have an upside to $97. For now, we just have to wait for to see what's the next action. Our all time high is just there, $104. So there's about $5 difference to go about. If we do break into above, that would be a very, very good sign. Then obviously we're gonna be taking trades here like the X is drawn here and that would be a very very bullish sign for whole luna ecosystem as well now we jump into rune we can clearly see that in rune there is a similar pattern repeating to avax it did pull back here did pull back here now we are going to be drawing new zones that i expect for us to pull back 
will be these two zones if we do pull back here would be an ideal situation we have to wait for 9.590 to break in order for us to expect some kind of bull upside to be coming in rune as well for now these are the most important news we can clearly see a lot of coins are pumping theta and other coins as well in the market agld did almost 12 percent finally looks like that is going to be breaking out a trend overall if we even want to have a quick look at our stocks we can see some stocks are in pullback like i said early as well and even some commodities are in pullback not much upside about hardly 0.40 percent we would ideally want to see one to two percent to be confirmed that maybe now btc is going to take some pullback because commodities are pumping overall if we look at the everything in the scenario in the markets market still looks very very bullish just have to wait for this resistance to be broken in order for us to be taking the trades that we would ideally want to take in a market like this so i think this is very very important week for us like i've said before as well we have biden's meeting then the fed has already told us that they're going to be increasing basis points as well so we can have a mixture of part and volatility in the market just be very very careful and look for the trades only when the resistance and macd has converged otherwise just hold on be patient because patience is always going to bring you massive rewards as well so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would keep me motivated that's all for today see you guys tomorrow